So I'm going to talk about Matthew Calamari Jr. today, the son of the 40-year-old friend of Trump. And uh, so I hope you like the video. If you do, please thumbs up. If you haven't uh, subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. Wow! Cool! I am Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Calamari Jr., you know, his dad worked for Trump, got him the job as being head of security, and uh, here we are. He's going to testify. So I'll tell you what I found out. It's just like a paragraph. Hang on. So CNN says, uh, Matthew Cal and everybody, really all the news outlets, but they say that uh, Matthew Calamari Jr., okay, um, yeah, the Trump Organization's corporate director of security, okay, that's his job title, uh, will appear before a grand jury on Thursday in Manhattan. So under New York state law, um, Calamari Jr. will automatically get immunity, okay, on what he testifies about. Then that signals prosecutors may not uh, indict him. Uh, Calamari Jr., he's the son of the company's chief operating officer, okay, 45, 40 year old, uh, for not 40 years, they've been buddies. Uh, and uh, and uh, Matthew Calamari Sr., okay, so what's happened here? are the prosecutors have finally ordered up a side. An appetizer. Okay, so uh, Senior, he was Trump's bodyguard, and Trump uh, liked him so much that then he made him his chief uh, operating officer. No, no experience, no nothing. And that's what he's been for the majority of the 40 years. Um, years. Um, so I guess like they're looking for you know free new york apartments expensive cars uh leases uh other perks uh consumers can you know that could be involved with uh, criminal tax fraud so matthew calamari let's see what the cards uh, tell us so this is the wild unknown tarot by kim Kranz. And these cards are really nice cards. She's put some very thoughtful messages in this uh, really a nice uh, guide box or guidebook uh, or <laughs> packaging that she's included. The guidebook is a really cool quality. The cards are co completely fully depicted here, not in color, but um, you know, there's not much color in the cards anyway. And there's some very thoughtful ideas as to the divination of the cards. So uh, Kim Cran did a beautiful job with this. Then it's got a, a box within a box. That I like to call the inner sanctum. Another nice message inside this box and the cards. Well, there's a little something lacking in the cards. And I'll tell you what it is, is that the uh, quality of them isn't, doesn't make them the easiest cards to use. Um, the cards are thin. Um, they don't uh, spread out very well, but the meaning of the cards is unbelievable. And you'll see uh, right here as I put them out for you. All this detail that you see, this is hand-drawn. Every single, all of these lines, all of this repetitiveness that you see in here is, um, is Kim Cran's work. Uh, her And so it really makes you feel like some, a lot of thought, a lot of intention went into each and every drawing that you have here. And so, and like I always say, I spread these cards out in the beginning here so that you can kind of get a look at a full deck of cards if you don't collect cards or if you don't see lots of variety of cards all the time. And I'm kind of a crazy person that buys a lot of cards, um, sadly. Um, but um, they make for a very nice um, experience when you're doing divination with these cards. Kim Kranz, The Wild and Untarrow. I mean, who would ever imagine that this sort of stuff 
is just so close to the surface. And these people who are running our country now, I mean, you expect some some fraud here and there and some and some crooked uh, guys. But I mean, just so many of the Congress, so many of the politicians, I mean, right down to the governors, the mayors, the councilmen, it's all it's all just. And if you're honest, you can't survive. So that's what we've got. So Calamari Jr., Calamari Sr., what happened is he was um, at a concert. Or he was doing security, I think, at a concert. And Trump was there or some sort of an event. Trump was there. And Sr., and this is 40-plus years ago, Sr. Uh, cleared some people out who were being unruly in a, in a really rough uh, manner. And Trump, younger Trump, liked that. And so he hired him on the spot to be his bodyguard. And then um, not so long after that, he named him his chief operating officer. So there you go. And so his son, uh, Junior, then uh, became uh, the director of the security division. I guess, you know, you know, he's still just doing what his dad tells him to do. But uh, he, he's been doing that for years and years and years. And so they're going to call him in saying, are you getting free apartment? Are you getting free cars? Is anybody claiming this on their taxes? Did you know about it? Who else is doing it? And you get immunity. So Will... Oh, gosh, these cards don't like to spread out. I'm going to try it, though. You've got to put a lot of pressure, I think. Will Calamari Jr. spill the beans on uh, Trump? And his, let's see, who's the first next one he'd talk about? Maybe his dad. Uh, who knows? So, Will Calamari, Calamari Jr. spill the beans? Um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Six. And depending on how this goes, we may do make this a full uh, Celtic cross. Right now it's going to be a dyadic cross, just six cards. Or um, do another uh, small draw for the next question, which I don't know who it is. We'll see if it comes to us. So the question is, uh, will Calamari Jr. spill the beans? Wow. And uh, wow, the devil. The devil card. Do you see what is the signifier of this? It's the devil. Now the devil doesn't necessarily tell us that, that he's going to, to spill the beans on anybody. But it tells us who he is. This is the signifier. Okay, the challenge to that, the challenge to the devil card, <laughs> is he going to spill the beans? Junior, that is, is the um, three of what? Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles is okay. Usually, it's a, a team working together to put something to 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 create something, uh, and uh, usually something is very obvious. I like to say it's a team putting something together for a public display, but uh, it's three of Pentacles, so it's not a lot. Of value here, but it's for a huge result. Look at the mountain that they've been able to put up uh, with with the uh, with this card. So the uh, the devil is challenged by this uh, these pinnacles, this worth, this money that they build into what this great mountain. What is this Trump Tower? So in the base of this reading, then um, is the Five of Cups. You know, the Five of Cups is always uh, typically depicted as a, as a two or three cups that are empty, but you've still got a little bit left. So it's, you know, it's a passionate issue. It's an emotional thing. And uh, we've got a, uh, this horse head here. Oh, my God, which looks very sad. You know, didn't the, the, the mafia used to deliver a horse, a, a horse head, a severed horse head to your home or your bed or something uh, in uh, Sicily? <laughs> oh, my God. So let's leave that word out there. Devil right there. OK, so the city of the devil challenged by, I guess, Trump Tower. And, uh, and the base of the whole thing is this uh, mafioso-like uh, treatment. Uh, but you still got something left. There's still some compassion that you can go on with. The uh, past of this reading, then, uh, it's inverted. If I had picked it up correctly, um, it wouldn't be inverted. But the fact that it is inverted, I think, means that I need to uh, read it that way, even though I really uh, hate doing that. So this is Pentacles, and I've got a, a cheat sheet that I'm liking the, uh, the answers to. So I'm going to use that one to interpret this. So the five, if this was this way, it's the Father of Pentacles, which would be the King of Pentacles. And, uh, well, that's easy, too. But in reverse, the King of Pentacles, my cheat sheet over here tells, tells me a masculine, possessive, corrupt, insecure, wow, greedy, and self-important. So that's what's in the past of this reading. And that sounds pretty on point. And then the, uh, the sky of this is the, wow. So one, two, three, four, five, six of swords. No, seven of swords. So the Seven of Swords is a thief, a thief in the night. So you've got six here and one uh, right here that this fox is hiding very sneakily. So the sky of this reading is just literally all the thievery that's been going on for who knows how long. And then the likely outcome of the first part of this, Will Calamari, Calamari Tell His Secrets, um, is the Three of Wands. And this is long-term planning. Three of Wands is always making sure that you've got things set up for um, the future. So I think he will. 
Uh, I'm going to leave it at that. For me, that's exactly exactly what that. So there we go with that. That's amazing. But I want to know uh, the information that so so he spills. So what? So he tells uh, what he knows. But is is this eventually going to lead to uh, the downfall of Trump? Will this little spill, this little leak at the beginning here, is this going to be the thing that brings down? Well, let's say Trump org, okay? Because even if Trump uh, org is gone, Trump is still there grifting somewhere. Will this Calamari Jr., this little shrimp, oh my God, Calamari Jr., a little shrimp. <laughs> That's hysterical. So will this little shrimp's uh, truths uh, bring down Trump organization? Is this going to be it? Again, these cards don't like to spit, so I have to press them hard and kind of go kind of slow. There we go. And they're going to take six out for that question. So this is one. Two, three, four, five, and six. Great. Okay, let's see what we get here. We got six cards. Love these cards. This has been on point today. Signifier is this what's going to do Trump in? Uh, this is the Empress. So this uh, does two things for us. It tells us to use our intuition, and the Empress brings with it uh, all the bounty and the and the uh, power and the uh, ability that thing needs. I mean, look at this tree. It's glowing in the night. It's full of energy. And uh, so this number three card in the uh, uh, Major Arcana. And, you know, so this is, let's see, so the fool starts out, he uh, meets a magician, then he meets uh, the, um, the high priestess, and then the empress. Yeah. So this is, this is, it's just the beginning of the journey, but it's a powerful, powerful a place to be the empress. The challenge to that as to whether this is what brings Trump down, okay, is the hermit. Okay, so this is a little interesting now. So now um, with this uh, nine in the major arcana, we're almost halfway through the journey, and the hermit is at this point. He's shining a light. He's pulled his feet in. And he's going to take a minute to see if if this is where he needs to be and what's the next step. And he's perfectly fine just to take a breath. And see where is he so this uh great big boost of energy here this empress is challenged by this taking a minute it's really uh waiting to see what happens uh we want to know uh, is this what's going to break trump down the base of this reading then is the seven of wands and the seven of wands is this is a very interesting way to depict it because it's always a set, six wands and then one person kind of defending fending off those other wands and so this one wand is lit this is the match could this be Look at that, the match, the fire at the base of this uh, issue, this, this uh, maybe this is Trump organization, uh, but I don't know, it could be the government too, but is this the fire down here that lights it all up? The uh, past of this reading, and uh, the Seven of Wands is usually thought of, uh, though, yeah, as, as a big uh, um, defense sort of situation. The uh, past of this reading then, is the four pentacles, you know, and that's just holding on. And that's what these pentacles, they're all bound to each other. They're all roped together and they're all just holding into their place. They're not going anywhere. And so that's the value. And so the, the past of this was being to hold on to your value. Hmm. Uh, the sky of this reading then is the uh, two of coins. So this is keeping a balance. See them right here, these two coins. This is really keeping things balanced, keeping things up in the air. And I got to tell you, when that's the best you can hope for, because the sky we're reading is, you know, this is what you're aiming for. This is your 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 goal and beyond your goal. The best thing could ever happen. The most success, the most you know, impressive uh, answer to the question that you would hope for would be this. Uh, just keeping it balanced. That's a shame. And then uh, the likely outcome is if this is, is this what's going to bring Trump or down is wow look at that rose that is a sad looking rose and uh, the five of coins is on the outside looking in being on the outside looking in you'll remember this card as being a church cathedral window with some beggars on the outside and the light shining through the windows and they're 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 not allowed in they're they're outside of that uh, so this could be what brings him down this could be the beginning of what brings him down that's exactly how this looks Well, that's what I saw. I've already put the cards away, so I can't go through them again. But you maybe you've heard enough of me already. But it looks to me like, in both cases, things are going to work uh, uh, toward uh, just. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now.